Okay, we are back everybody. So, got a little bit of a different video here. I mean, I got a ton of mail that came in today. So we're going to rip through that real quick. But then I also kind of got like a throwback thing going on here. So I got a 2003 Upper Deck Series 2 and I got a bunch of these packs. So, saw them at a flea market and I remember these back in the day. I opened them trying to get like a Matsui rookie and... Uh, just some cool cards, man. They got all the greats from 2003 in there, so you can hit relic cards and all that. So, you know, you can pull a King Griffey, uh, Derek Jeter, something relic, you know, it'd be cool to pull something like that. So we'll rip into those. But first, we're going to get into this mail. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff coming in the mail today. And also a box from Diamond Princess's channel. She ripped a hobby box of Prison Baseball. So stay tuned for me ripping into that because there's still three packs of Prison Baseball in there that she did not open. She opened pretty much the whole box, but she kind of like randomly mixed them up in the beginning and pulled three out. So we're going to rip into that and see what is still there. So I know there is one auto left for sure because there's three autos per box and... When she opened it, there was only two. So one of those three packs that she sent me in this box right here will definitely have an auto in it. So we'll get to that in just a second. What is this? Ooh. Very nice. It's a Pete. Pete's one of my favorite players. Who knows, man? When all's said and done, he might beat out King Griffey to be the uh, greatest home run guy of all time i've been buying up some peats so i got a psa 10 tops chrome right there man i'd love to get this one in a 10 they're spendy though uh quite a bit more than the regular so this is an awesome card to have in my collection it's like this uh prismatic refractor tops chrome rookie card very cool that's definitely in the pc i'm gonna try to rip through this mail quickly here so that i can get to Ripping these packs for you guys, man. I also have another kind of unique video. I'm going to try something a little different um, in the next one here. I have... What is this? Ooh. This is... I should have done this one last. God, I always do this. I forget. I get all excited. These are not what I bought. But this is... Oh, that's cool. He threw in some cool cards there. Look at this bad boy. Ooh. Matt Chapman Refractor, one of my other favorite players. But this is the crown jewel that I bought. So that is a Clutch Rookies from Immaculate RPA Rookie Patch Auto numbered 11 of 25 of Cedric Mullins. That is a sick card. Three color patches, white, black, and red. Looks like it's part of the number on his jersey or yeah he's for the orioles but that's an immaculate cedric mullins rpa numbered to 25 i mean he is one of the, him and Raphael devers in my opinion are the two most underrated players in baseball because they're you know i mean devers isn't on a bad team but and i think devers is finally starting to get some love but cedric mullins is on one of the worst teams in baseball and uh he definitely gets treated like he is, but he is something special, man. And I think the Orioles guys, I mean, I shouldn't even say this because I don't want people <laughs> bidding on the stuff that I'm trying to target, but I think the Orioles are going to be top four within the next two years. So that's just my opinion. You got Adley Rutschman, Grayson Rodriguez coming up from the minors. This is another cool little one here. A couple of Xander Bogarts, first Bowmans. They look to be beautiful. I'm very picky when I buy cards. Very, very picky. I look at detailed pictures. If I buy something on eBay like these, I uh, ask for very detailed photos. I want to make sure all the corners are sharp. And I let them know right away, like, hey, man, I don't want to do returns. I don't want to deal with none of that. So just be straight up with me and tell me if it's good or bad. So... Already, man, so much cool cards today. 
so many cool cards. And we got, oh man, I'm excited to get into these packs. And I want you guys, if you guys have not bought in, ooh, here we go. Look at that. T. Brian Hayes, Topps Chrome Refractor, rookie card. He definitely didn't live up to expectations, in my opinion, this year. But the talent is there, man. The potential is, like, limitless for this guy. Scratches look to be on the top loader. Cool card there. We've got quite a few key, Brian. But if any of you guys have not bought into um, Diamond Princess's breaks, be witness here, man. I've bought into a few of them now. She packages these cards and communicates with you better than any other breaker out there. Her prices, she's giving you like everything at cost just so that you can support her channel. And uh, if you guys have not bought and stuff from her yet, I highly recommend you subscribe to her Patreon and support her, man, because she is an amazing person. What's in here? Ooh, I remember buying this one. Jared Kelnick. And that is a Cosmic Refractor rookie there from Prism. Kind of one of the cards I was looking to pull out of my hobby box. And when I saw that break and it didn't happen, then, uh, you know, a Giolito rookie for free. George Springer. Another Giolito. Ooh, Jorge Soler. Ooh, and there's a couple cool ones. An Ahmed Rosario. He's playing for Cleveland now, but these are a couple pre-rookies here. Bowman Chrome and Bowman. Nice. I got a nice little player PC of Ahmed Rosario. I'm a big fan of him. Cool. So that's the basic mail here. And now let's get into this and we'll rip these packs. I just want you guys to be witness of this. Instead of opening this off camera and all that, just not going to show the address or hers. But I highly recommend you guys go check her channel out, man. Just support the channel. She is amazing. And you're going to see it right here. Look at how she packages these cards. She takes the time to do this. No other breakers do this, man. I've broken with many, many people. They'll sleeve up your cards or maybe team bag them and stuff. But nobody goes through the time and effort that she does to package these up and get them to you. I broke into this, like, what, four days ago? And already they're here. And look at how nice this is, guys. Look at this. Oh, and that's right. She gave me a free pack, too, of Prism Football. I forgot about that. Thank you, Diamond Princess. It was my birthday, and she hooked me up with that, so that's cool. But look at this, guys. Look how neat this is. There's in here, the little note and the bubble wrap and all that. It's just so nicely done. And look at this here. So she'll team bag each one. Here's your numbered cards and parallels here. And she hard uh, top loads everything, puts them in there with a nice little note. Here's my autograph cards. Here's my tier three rookies, base and parallels. All the ones because Prism has tier one, tier two, three. She went through and separated all the rookies, all the base cards, all the tiers. Parallels, tier one and two base tier one she does all this and every card is sleeved guys look at this this is just base cards here and they're all sleeved she takes the time to do this man so it's like i really wanted to give her a shout out and do this on camera because i knew this is how it was going to be before i even opened it from last time i just knew but look at this man beautiful a couple of uh miami marlins autos lee wendez and uh, monte harrison and that one's a silver but see, I didn't get a numbered one, and there's still one left. And normally, you get at least one numbered parallel auto in a hobby box. So I can't wait anymore. Let's get into it. But I just wanted to show, man, she's amazing. She goes through and takes the time to team bag and sleeve all these cards, dude, and wrap them up. And just mad respect. Thank you, Diamond Princess. So... My son likes football, so thank you for this. I'm going to put this aside for him, and we're going to rip into these three packs here. They feel like they made it pretty safe. I don't know which one to do first. Let's just get into it. Thank you guys for checking out the channel. 
I'll try to burn through this quick. That was a lot of mail. Let's hope for a parallel or a... There's also those lava flows, man. Oh, God, that's what I really wanted out of that box, but it didn't come, so... We got any color in here? Ooh, there is some color at the back. So we got Estevan Florial, rookie. Isaac Paredes. Randy Rosarena. There's a Craig Biggio. Jonathan Stever, rookie. Jacob DeGrom. Man, if the Mets had him, I think they were gliding to the playoffs. It's unfortunate he got hurt. There's a Joe Adele. Cattell Marte Fearless. Dean Kramer. And our blue is upside down. Not a rookie. Rod Carew. But the Dean Kramer is a tier three rookie. Rod Carew. Black and white, blue parallel. And a Jordan Alvarez Lumber Inc. Those and the Slugger cards, I mean, there's definitely some cool parallels. I wish there were more numbered parallels in this set. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's go with this one. Auto. Trying to pull the auto last. Let's see, though. Got any color? We got multiple silvers. And our auto. Okay. So let's set this pack down. We'll do the auto last. And then we'll get to ripping on these upper decks. Larry Walker. Oh, we got lots of color on this one. Zach McKinstry. Lee Wynn Diaz. Luis Camposano. Man, lots of rookies in here. Nick Madrigal. Keo Aheria. Travis Blankenhorn. That's a crazy name. I've never heard of him. Come on, let's get lucky. Can we get a numbered parallel here? Fearless. Whit Merrifield. Or Idius Aquino. This one's upside down again. It's a rookie, a blue rookie of Keenan Aiken. And not a rookie. Brandon Woodruff. This one is numbered to 60. Keenan Aiken. 19 of 60. For Baltimore Orioles. Speak of the devil. So that's a cool one. And a Charlie Blackman Fireworks. Let's see if this last pack can be fired. Because otherwise, guys... I'm sorry to tell you, but that was a really bad box unless this auto is fire. Because I've seen a lot of these boxes get opened, and they were big-time boxes, man. This is one of the worst boxes I've seen be opened, honestly. Keenan Agin, Tim Anderson, Anthony Rizzo, Dylan Carlson, rookie. That's a good one. There's an Alex Rodriguez. I haven't seen that before. Tier 2. So, Tier 2 is like... So, Tier 1 is like base, tier two is like harder to pull, tier three is like a short print. So, got Joey Gallo, a Harmon Killebrew old school, Jose Abreu, come on, come on, let's get a good auto. Let's look at the back ones first. Rookie of Andre Scrub, silver, and a silver rookie of Casey Mize. Okay, our auto is right here. R A S X. R A. Let's just flip it. Sicto Sanchez. Three Miami autos in one box. And nothing numbered. Well, not a great box, but no. Sicto Sanchez, at the beginning of the year, he was a highly touted prospect, so it is what it is. Keenan Aiken, so you can't all be winners, guys. Sometimes you hit them, sometimes you don't. My last couple hobby boxes, I've hit pretty big cards in. You know, nothing majorly big, but 
I'm actually trying to be picking up some more stuff right now. So I do have what I was going to say earlier, and I totally forgot it. I bought, four, I think, four complete sets of 2021 tops. So that's what we're going to be breaking next on the channel. I'm going to break open these sets and uh, see if we can pull some parallels. Um, but these are different than the ones I've been seeing people break. So the ones I've been seeing people break are the Walmart brand ones where they're looking for the star parallels. I bought the Target ones where you can pull chrome refractors, super refractors, all that. So see if we can pull some relics here. That's all we're looking for pretty much. There's not many great rookies in this. So Lopez. Gonna try to go quick. There's a Mariano Rivera. What is this? 43 Sluggers. Ted Williams. Interesting. That's a cool one. Dummy card. Jason Giambi, David Coney, and Josh Stewart rookie. And a World Series thing that's probably way expired. So there's nothing major you can really pull out of here other than like cool patch cards. So we're just going to rip through these quick. See if anybody likes any of these. Hideo Nomo. Halter. Ramirez. There's another dummy card. Star rookie of Josh Willingham. Jason Kendall. Hoping for a cool superstar patch card, man. That's what I wanted. I just like ripping some old stuff sometimes. It's just fun. Another dummy card here, so we'll go quick first. And Edgar Renteria. Superior Sluggers. Alex Rodriguez. There we go. That's a cool one. I'll take that. Another dummy card. Ellis Burks. Miguel Tejeda and star rookie of Sledge. Thank you guys for checking this out. I'm excited to rip into those cases. I haven't bought a full complete set since 2018 and I still have that set. I'm keeping it sealed with Otani rookies and all that. Jimenez, Hudson, uh, Austin Kearns, Mike Metheny, another dummy card. Michael Hesseman. Hesseman. You get, I think, about one rookie per pack, so. Yeah, it's unfortunate about the prism, man. It's weird to get three Miami autographs, all not numbered, in one box, you know. A hobby box, you would hope that there would be uh, better stuff than that, but it is what it is. Toby Hall, Mark Loretta, Robert Fick, Todd Ritchie, Randy Wynn. What is this? Masters with the Leather, Alex Rodriguez. Man, that's a cool one. I'm going to have to look up some of these, man, because there's, like, some cool, like, really short printed inserts in the 90s and 2000s so some of those super cool inserts actually go for pretty big money man trust me i know i hit a couple of the fleer metal from basketball inserts from the 90s dude and one of them i just sold for like five thousand dollars raw so there's a sammy sosa and Machado, Alejandro Machado. Man, these are definitely, when they say tamper-proof packs, man. It's like the Gypsy Queen packs. Just like them, actually. You have to open them the same way. So we got Hank Uribe, Matt Clement, Overbay, Baroa, Bernard, filler, come on, man. There's only two um, 
patch cards per box, and I tried to buy the rest of the box. Another filler card. Carlos Delgado. Dustin Moore. Got Troy Gloss championship card. There's a Shinojo. No rookie in that one either. Bobby Kitt. Okay. Another dummy card. Brent Main, Jack PV, Greg Maddox, Jay Duran, another Masters of the Leather, Derek Jeter. There we go. That's a cool one. We got the two best ones. That's cool. Tim Olson, star rookie. Mendoza and a Jeff Duncan. So we didn't get a rookie in the other pack, but then we got two in that one. So I guess that's kind of how it can go. I just hope somebody didn't pick the patch cards out and leave me with just dummies, which we got only a couple packs left, so that may have been what happened, guys, but that's the risk you get when you buy packs from boxes that people can walk up and fondle. Javi Lopez, Russell, we got Justin Miller, and Will eerie rookie thank you guys for watching and uh yeah check me out in this next one i'm going to be ripping into those sets and i appreciate everybody for watching i'm just gonna check dummy card here check for the rookie at the back john old nothing there Set those off to the side and I'll check them in a minute. I just want to, I don't like my videos going this long, so. Dummy card. No Matsui. I'm almost at 100 subscribers, so if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, we're going to do a fat giveaway with packs at the 100 subscriber mark i'm going to give away some awesome packs thank you guys for supporting the channel so far Ooh, is this a relic it is found one who is it national pride landon powell usa Game used pants of a guy. <laughs> okay. Well, Castro, rookie card, and Marquise Grisham. Last pack, guys. At least we got one and didn't get dummied out the whole way. Got dummied on that one, though. So somebody did get one. We got one. Bobby Madrich. Todd Willeher. No Mark Garcia Para. There we go. Well, guys, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. There's a Lance Berkman. Yep. So, definitely not worth the money I spent on that. But, you know, National Pride, Landon Powell. Interesting. So, definitely got a couple of these things, which are cool. The Masters with the leather. And, uh... Yeah, guys. Thank you guys for checking out the channel. I appreciate you guys. So that was the last pack auto of the box. Sicto Sanchez. So, yeah, if you guys want to see a recap, just let me know. I'll go through all this stuff that I pulled from the box and do a recap in the next video when I break open those four sets because that will go quick. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of that box. You know, definitely have seen better myself. So. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.